Good morning. Last week, Chinese scientists in Hefei, in Anhui province, achieved a breakthrough in a nuclear fusion test. Their artificial sun maintained high temperature plasma confinement for 1,066 seconds, which is more than twice the previous record, which was also set by the Hefei group. This news was picked up right away in our own media and went with new pushes for Western governments to catch up. The fusion power race is probably the most important of them all and whichever country gets there first is going to dominate the next several centuries, probably. China has made nuclear power, both fission and fusion, national priorities and have organized their industries accordingly. This is causing well-founded concerns in the United States and Europe, where everything takes a lot longer and costs a lot more and involves satisfying large national and local constituencies and environmental groups determined to stop new power projects back home. China is the world's fastest growing nuclear power producer, increasing its number of reactors 10 times in 20 years. The United States has more nuclear plants in operation, but China is gaining fast. That orange bar is plants under construction. There's no secret as to how China does it. Government money, government help with supply chains, and government commitments to build. The cost of nuclear power in China is $70 per megawatt hour, 40% less than in the United States, and less than half the EU. It also costs Chinese a lot less to build them, just a third of the cost of the United States or France. That's construction costs and operating costs fall further because Chinese plants are given land either for free or at deep discounts. There is a comprehensive national strategy here at federal and local levels. As a result, China is at least 10 years ahead of the U.S. in nuclear technology, especially in the latest generation nuclear reactors. China builds six to eight new plants a year and will pass the United States in 2030. So our experts admit that China is ahead in the technology and closing the gap quickly by building new plants. And insiders say that this all presents major problems for us and opportunities for them. This analysis is from last April 2024 and leads with how critically important the race to fusion power is and that China's government understands what is at stake. Controlled nuclear fusion is the only direction for future energy. That is their all of government policy. And China is investing, organizing, and building faster than anyone else across the fusion ecosystems to build nuclear fusion. On research, China spends $1.5 billion per year, twice what the US spends. Now China is ahead of the United States in both the number and the quality of new patents for fusion. And the reality is worse than that. Most of the U.S. funding goes toward basic research, and lots of that isn't yielding anything tangible. ITER gets 31% of its funding from the U.S., and according to their own estimates, they won't produce any test results for at least 10 years. And two-thirds of that money isn't relevant to scaling fusion power anyway. In China, the emphasis is on fast results and on securing supply chains. Their plan is to quickly build intermediate reactors and test facilities and solve engineering problems as they come up. Their demonstration reactor will be completed in the early part of the next decade and aims to produce a gigawatt of fusion power at a ratio of 30 times. This is similar to plans advanced by Western researchers, but China is actually executing on them. As U.S. researchers say here, China took our plan and built it. Organization and supply chains are key, and China is developing them, and Western countries are not. China's fusion efforts are unified and managed by a single entity that includes China's biggest utilities, construction companies, and scientific institutions. In the United States, we don't do things that way. China is also snapping up the key natural resources and manufacturing processes for the industry. And our own nuclear plants are dependent on China for commodities 
and specialty components. The concern here is that even if the U.S. and Europe wanted to scale up nuclear power capabilities, we need to go through China to do it. This is an important aspect here. Fusion research is shared across countries. China published their test results just as we do, just as the Europeans do. There is even a lot of Chinese money invested in fusion projects across the world. China is a key investor in ITER, the European project. China, along with India, Russia, Japan, and Korea, are 9.1% of the project, and the members share equally all the scientific results and IP. This was a feature from just a few days ago. A nuclear fusion company in the UK is hoping to raise 60 million pounds following the news of China's surprise lead in fusion. First Light Fusion is in Oxford and is looking for funding to do more research in projection fusion. First Light's investors include Tencent, a giant Chinese tech company. First Light is looking for new funding because of concerns about China and negotiating with Tencent to raise more money. China understands that cooperating with fusion research institutes and companies around the world is beneficial as that knowledge is shared. But China is building the facilities and nailing down the supply chains so that no matter where the discoveries are made, it will be in China where they will be applied and at scale before anywhere else. This is Chongchun in Jilin province. Be good. Everyone who asks receives. He who seeks finds. And if anyone knocks, it will be opened.